the game is really a testament to what this team has done. Yeah, done not so much on the field, which was awesome, but with the ballpark itself. It was 20 years ago this summer that Cleveland last hosted the Major League All-Star game at then Jacobs Field. Since then, the stadium has seen a lot of changes. The sounds of a harsh January wind replacing the October cheers of the Indians' playoff run and progressive field this day. A reminder of the words of Bill Veck painted on the concourse wall below. There are two seasons, winter and baseball. But on this day, thoughts of summer have emerged with word Major League Baseball is set to name the Cleveland Indians as the host team for the 2019 All-Star Game. The Indians tweeting advance word of a big announcement expected Friday morning. This will be for the Indians a Major League leading sixth time they've hosted the showdown between the best of both leagues and the second for this ballpark that last brought baseball's best here in July of 1997. Old Municipal Stadium hosted four Midsummer Classics, with three of them holding the top three spots for the largest All-Star crowds ever, starting with the third All-Star game ever played in 1935 in front of nearly 70,000 fans. It was a mark nearly topped in the Indians' pennant-winning year of 1954, and it was topped in 1981, when just over 72,000 fans filled the stadium to cheer on the Indians' battery of Len Barker and Bo Diaz, not quite three months after Barker's perfect game here. To host an All-Star game back then, you needed seats. Today, you need suites and an experience. The Indians likely being rewarded for the efforts they've made in the last two off-seasons to reinvent the now 23-year-old park. Improvements on display for the World Series that will get an even greater look during the several days surrounding the All-Star game itself. And the All-Star Game carries with it an economic impact in the 60 to $80 million range. And remember, the Cavs are also in the running for the NBA All-Star Game once their just-announced renovations of the queue are complete. Live in the newsroom, Jack Kasich, News 5.